I'm Valid Ghost, and today we're gonna play some more Planet Zoo. Uh, I'm actually recording this pretty early. I didn't plan on recording this today, but oh well, here we are. Um, I, I haven't even edited or touched the last recording session yet, but here we are. I'm doing another recording session because I am sad, and it's late at night, and I don't want to sleep. <laughs> So that's why I'm gonna play some Planet Zoo, because taking care of virtual animals relieves me of my horrible life situation. <laughs> or something. F off, Abby. I don't care about you. Thought it was Sumia for a minute, so I'm sorry, Abby. I was kind of mean, but, you know. I'm a little sick of the spring box right now, considering they keep giving me mean notifications. Well, actually, it's mainly these stupid turtles. I hate the turtles. Why are the turtles so shy? The vending machine's broken. I don't care. I don't give a dang. Okay, fine. What workshop is this? Who's in it? These three are in it. Okay. Alright. Fine. Fine. I'll get you guys a new workshop. Because, yes, guess what? I can afford it. I can definitely afford it. So let's just get a new one. I can just duplicate this one. No, I don't want to be on a grid. Jesus. Also, my throat hurts, but, you know. That's nothing new. That's nothing new. <laughs> oh, and I have to be quiet because it's late at night. And I just haven't been doing well tonight. <laughs> tonight has not been a good night. What is this in? What workshop is this at? What work zone is this in? So I can put this other one in the same work zone. You guys don't need to worry about me, though. I'm fine. I'm surviving, man. I'm a survivor. If there's one thing that can be said about me in my pathetic little life, it's that I am a freaking survivor. <laughs> and that's all. That's the, the only good thing I can say about myself. <laughs> if all Abby, I don't care that you're about to betray me. Jesus. Also, ignore any sniffling you might hear. I do have a stuffy nose as well as a sore throat. You know, just a whole on, full on cold. Just a full on cold. So just, just don't even worry about it. What is this? That was tasty. What did you have? I don't know. They're looking at my flamingos that are swimming in the sea, in the lake, or whatever. Habitat cleanliness is a disease risk. Why? Where? The pandas are dirty? Okay, are the- Let me look at my zookeepers real quick. Entrance zone, you're very tired. You need more training. Oh, I guess I should probably get another zookeeper, huh? For the panda and others. I only have one for this? Oh, you poor things. Okay, I'll get two more. Because there's three exhibits in the panda and others so far, right? There's the flamingos, the panda, and the black bears. Though the black bears is also in another work zone, but it doesn't really matter because uh, the flamingos exhibit is pretty big. So it, it just requires a lot of keepers. Let's put a lot of keepers in here. Uh, wait, excuse me, these are vets. Let me look down here. No work zone. You are now monkey bears. I mean, sorry, no. You are now panda and others. And other no work zone, you are also now Panda and others. Dwayne Dodge, I can't change that name. I'm sorry, it's too cool. It's too hardcore. Alright, what about you? Brant Hamilton, yeah, no, that's gotta go. You are now Alexander Hamilton. Thank you very much. <laughs> Alright, I don't care, Abby. Shut the f up. The world isn't about you, Abby. <laughs> Nobody cares that you're aging. Jeez. Alright, what have you guys got to say about my pandas? That's rude, and I don't give a dang. Okay, what about you? What about you? This place has great scenery, yeah, th thank you. This guy? I like this guy. I'm gonna pop your balloon, because I don't like your opinions. <laughs> no, but warm's up. You know what? You're okay. You're lukewarm. Best day ever! I'm too hot. Okay, you can keep your balloon. You can keep your balloon. You can get a good view of the giant pandas from here. Okay, and what about you in the middle? 
Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. You're all fine. Oh, look at these people with their hats. Look, I think they got- what is that? Lion hats? Oh, that's adorable. That's freaking adorable. Alright, anyway. Um... What? What do you have now? Oh, I got vet research. What did I get vet research? What'd I get? <gasps> Pronghorn antelopes? Wow! People I don't care about! Wow! You know what? Rose? No, I'm not gonna let Ro Rioma, you're new. I'm gonna let you uh, check out the Salmonolosis. Yeah. Now, who was on um, pronghorn duty? Leo is. Uh, Leo... I don't even know what to have anyone research anymore. Leo, do some stuff for the dingoes. You know, I feel really bad for Sebastian. I feel like we, we didn't even get to say- we didn't even get to talk about Sebastian, uh, his death today in this video. We need to talk about it. Look how sad this is. <laughs> Look how sad this is. <laughs> Our first death in the zoo is Sebastian the dingo. He was a loving father of three cubs. He may have more children on the way, actually, because his wife is still alive. She's still young, and she's pregnant. Sorry, that's not his wife, that's his kid. <laughs> Wrong female dingo. <laughs> Arya, she's still young. She's not nine. Anyway, he died at nine. She has a year left, so, you know, she can have these babies before she dies. Arya definitely misses Sebastian. And, uh, I'm just- I'm hoping that these cubs come out healthy- and all right, and you know, maybe maybe I'll even name one after Sebastian, assuming we have a boy dingo. I mean, if we have a female, what would I name it? Sebi. Yeah, Sebi. Sebi could work. Or, uh, yeah, I don't know what else. <laughs> Sabrina. That could- that's a stretch. That's a bit of a stretch. A pretty long stretch, actually. What about Sebina? <laughs> I'm sure that's a name somewhere. Archie. Sophie and Benjamin, whoever the frick he is. Yeah, I remember their third child's name. Of course I do. I love my animals in my virtual zoo. My fake animals in my fake zoo. I love them and I know all their names all the time. Benjamin, there he is. I love them. Benjamin is now the alpha. Oh, dang. I thought it was going to be Archie. But okay, alright. Benjamin is the alpha. So maybe we'll get him a mate. Um, And, and then... uh. After these kids are born, you know, we'll rebuild. We'll have a new pack. It'll, it'll be great. And if she has multiple cubs, you know, hopefully, I'm hoping she'll have multiple pups. Sorry, I called them cubs. I don't know why. But if she has multiple pups, maybe we'll, uh, we'll name one after Sebastian. Maybe we'll keep that one and we'll send the others into the wild. Or we'll just send the one I named after Sebastian into the wild, you know, whatever. Anyway. Very sad that Sebastian died, but that is life. Even though my animals are aging three times slower than normal, it was bound to happen. And yes, I changed it to three times slower than normal. I don't know if I told you guys that or not, but I did make it three times slower now. It used to only be two times slower, but then I was like, ah, people are getting old too fast. So I made it three times slower because I don't like to watch my animals die. And I got a lot of animals to take care of. I mean, if I only had a few animals, maybe it wouldn't be too much trouble for me to have aging on regular speed. But I plan to have every animal in existence. I plan for this to be a mega zoo. That's just too many animals for me to keep track of, you know? I can't just keep replacing animals after I've only played for a few hours. You know, that's too annoying. It's too much management. I'm trying to make this a very laid-back playthrough. Maybe we'll do another playthrough that's more challenging, but this is a laid-back one. This is just a fun playthrough. This is not a serious playthrough. Anyway, I'm gonna see if they have female dingoes for sale, because I would like to get a mate for Benjamin, so that, um, what's his name? Sebastian. <laughs> <laughs> can uh, continue his lineage or something. Yeah, in the zoo, that is. So let's go look for dingoes and let's hope we find a female one. There is a female one. There's two. There's Ruby and there's Chloe. Oh, okay. Well, Chloe's a bit older, but that's okay. And Ruby 
does not have really good size, apparently. Okay, well, either one of them is a good match for Benjamin. I would like to go with Ruby, because she's a bit younger. So she might live longer, you know, that might be better for uh, Benjamin. But then again, Chloe has the better genes. I don't know. Can I look at Benjamin real quick? Benjamin, what do you want, Benny, my boy? Benny, my boy, what do you want? What is your stats? Hmm? Well, your size sucks, so, you know. I mean, her stats are kind of better than yours. Well, not all of them. She's going to be very sickly. Which is not great, but she does have a unique coat color that I don't think we've seen yet. Pretty sure all of my dingoes so far have been red, orange, sandy fur. And she is white, orange, sandy fur, so, you know, it's different. There's a difference there. Also, Isaac here is yellow, orange, sandy fur. Ooh. Ooh. Also, I'm noticing that Chloe and Isaac both require the fancy points, whereas Ruby here is cash only. Considering I don't necessarily care about my appeal on my animals in this playthrough, I'm just going to got to I'm just gonna buy Ruby. That may be a controversial choice for any serious pro players of this game, but I don't give a dang. <laughs> I don't give a dang. I'm buying Ruby and it's final. Send to the zoo. I better put her in quarantine. She is a sickly dog. I better put her right into quarantine. Hmm. I don't like having to put her in quarantine, but I better just do it. There. Put Ruby into quarantine. Let's hope she is accepted by the pack. And that nothing terrible happens. You two. Sorry, but I don't want the pack to be too big. So I'm just not going to get you. Uh, do we have any Japanese macaques, though? Yes, we have two! You and you! You have terrible stats, and you have bad fertility! But I'll take you. I'll take you both. Trade center, please? Yeah, you two also can go straight into the quarantine. We have no need to rush you into the zoo, so I'll put you in the quarantine. Okay. And last but not least, I would like to search for flamingos. Yeah, I didn't think there were any. Okay. Great. Can I quickly check my other dingoes, by the way? I want to make sure that I wasn't just lying about how I don't think there's any white, sandy-colored... Ah, oh, dang it. You're you're white sandy, aren't you, Archie? Ah, uh, you're, you're white orange, Archie. Oh, okay. We already have a white orange sandy fur. We have two white orange sandy fur. Well, oops. I wonder what Sebastian was. I don't know. I guess Benjamin takes after his mother, because she's also got red orange sandy fur. So perhaps Sebastian was white orange sandy fur. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, none of that matters. I am going to now forget about all of that garbage over there, and I'm going to think about a new exhibit. Yes, that's right, we're gonna make another new exhibit, because that's what this game's all about, making exhibits. So what do we want? Let's, let's look at our options. I want to make an exhibit to take my mind off of my life. We've got Buffalo. I don't know about that. I don't feel like buffalo. Arctic wolves. I'm not sure about that either. A bard's... A baird's tapir? Maybe. I'm, I'm kind of feeling a tapir. I don't feel monkeys right now. I don't think I'm gonna feel monkeys for a while. A cheetah. Ooh, a cheetah would be nice, except for the fact that you have 0% fertility. That's awful. What, did they spay you or something? I would love a cheetah, but you're just not worth it if you're not gonna have babies. Cause then I'm just gonna have to buy another one. So I will not take you. More monkeys. I don't feel like monkeys. Doll sheep. We got some more dingoes. Yeah, I see a Chloe and Isaac. I'm not buying ya. We got some Jim's Bach. We got a Gariel. Oh, I wouldn't mind a Gariel, actually. That could be fun. That could be fun. A rhino. I would love a rhino, but I can't afford it. And this is a good rhino, too. This is a nice rhino. Dang. 
Komodo dragon? I love Komodo dragons. Oh, but there's only two females. Would like to get a female in the male. Mandrill. Again, don't really feel the monkeys. But then again, you're not a monkey. You're an ape. I think. Right? Yeah, you're an ape. Or maybe you're a monkey. Okay, I'm not really sure what a mandrill is. You know, like, I know the difference between apes and monkeys, alright? Apes don't have tails. Right? <laughs> apes are like the bigger ones, you know, like a gorilla and a orangutan. Okay, you know, I'm not really sure what an ape is, but they're a primate. This is a primate, and I'm not sure if I feel like doing more primates, even though you're a different primate from the other primate. You're a bigger one. You're a cooler one. But I don't, I don't know if I feel you. One Nile monitor. I would love to add lizards in the zoo, but they, they're only giving me one. I want multiples. Alright, a red kangaroo. Already got kangaroos. A red panda. Red pandas are cute. I wouldn't mind a red panda. We could, we get Bjorn. Oh, I like the name. I like the name. <laughs> I want to buy it just because I like the name, even though it's almost an elder. Frick. And there's a female one. But I don't really have an arctic area yet, and I don't feel like expanding the zoo more. <laughs> Siberian tiger! Bogdana! Oh, 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 you know, you know, guys. You know Siberian tigers are my favorite animal. I was born in the year of the tiger. It's the year of the tiger right now. Did you guys know that? It's 2022, year of the tiger. It's my year. My year, and I'm sitting here... Depressed as frick. <laughs> it's my year. That's my tiger. Oh, that's just too tempting. I'm pretty sure the biome that Siberian tigers are in are just not this not the kind of biome that I'm going for. Right now I'm kinda of going for, you know, temperate. <laughs> Warmer, tropical kind of vibes, and Siberian tiger is very snowy. But god dang it, I love tigers, and I just... I have. I need to get this Siberian tiger. I'm adopting it. But I'm also gonna get these saltwater crocodiles, because F it. Alright, which one of you's got the best stats? Mm, okay, yeah, I knew it was gonna be winning. I mean, her name is freaking winning, after all. She's winning. The genes. <laughs> she's she's winning the gene stats. I'm adopting her. And you're the only male, so I'm adopting you too. And do they like others? I mean, usually when you go to the zoo, you see like a lot of crocodiles together, right? So do they do they travel in packs or something? <laughs> do they do they like that? Do they like friends? Saltwater crocodile. Also, where are saltwater crocodiles even found? In Asia, exactly where I thought they were, which is why I wanted them. Because, you know, the whole Asia area is right here. With my flamingos and my giant pandas and my black bears. I kind of wanted another Asian animal. It's also North Australia. Ooh, ooh that kind of fits in, too, because kangaroos are not too far from here. Anyway, it's just... just Seems right, um... Group size. One male, one female. Really? Maybe it's not saltwater crocodiles that have the big giant groups. Maybe it's alligators who have the big giant groups. I don't know, some lizard, some giant crocodilian looking thing has the big groups. You guys know what I'm talking about. You go to the zoo, you see like 20 alligators in a... In the zoo. <laughs> Maybe they're just young. Maybe those are only the young ones that are kept together? I don't freaking know. They say- it's saying solitary. Okay, you know, what about other crocodiles? What about alligators? Are alligators... more friendly? There are no alligators. Oh, okay. <laughs> we don't have alligators. Alright. What about other crocodiles? No. Okay. Uh... What about that gharial thing? Yeah, that thing. Okay. It's garils that like other garils. Okay. They only like bachelor or bachelorette groups. Can guests enter the habitat? No. <laughs> Please, no. Confident relation with humans. 
Okay, uh, what about any other lizards? Can't think of any that are kind of reptilian, like uh, 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 crocodilian, whatever. I mean, there's Komodos and Nile people. I don't care. Okay. All right. Anyway, we've got two exhibits to build: a tiger exhibit and a saltwater crocodile exhibit. So it's time to figure out where we're going to build them. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Considering how far is this water treatment's range? Hmm? Not very far. Not very far. But we are most likely going to have to buy another one of those. Okay, great. Wonderful. I was going to base my decision off of that, but no. So I could build saltwater crocodiles over here, or I could build the tigers over here. And this is also kind of an available space right here. Well, considering I want this area to be more, much more scenic, I think I will give this area to the tigers. That means I will give this area to the saltwater crocodiles. Alright. What kind of fence do saltwater crocodiles need? We'll do them first. Because I feel like they'll be easier somehow. I don't know. They'll take less time anyway. Because I like tigers. I want to do... I want to make the best tiger cage I can. Tiger exhibit. They need a lot of feet. They only need grade 2. At least 1 meter high. I was wondering about that because you always see... Crocodiles behind chain link fences. <laughs> or steel mesh fences, more likely. But, you know, it always looks like they could easily just chomp their way through, you know? Of course, they don't seem to ever want to try. Crocodiles look kind of lazy, honestly. Most lizards do. Sometimes you'll look at a crocodile and wonder, why, why are we scared of this thing? Sure, it's a giant monster with lots of teeth and scales and it's kind of scary. <laughs> But at the same time, like, it just never moves. So why are we scared? But then you see it eat something and you're like, oh god, okay, that's why we're scared. <laughs> Alright, there we go. That is going to be our crocodile exhibit. So let's get us a gate there. And let's get those crocs. I suppose we should put them in quarantine, huh? <laughs> Everything needs to go into the frickin' quarantine. Alright, alright. Put them all in the frickin' quarantine. Or even is the quarantine. Can we? How many animals can we put into quarantine? I guess we're gonna find out, huh? There we go. And... Can you also fit in there? It sure can. Was, did it say it was a pet? <laughs> that's interesting. That's very interesting. Oh, this one was also a pet. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Habitat cleanliness is a disease risk. Well, freaking get clean then. Frick. Keep her urgently assigned. There we go. Yeah, clean the mess. They're pooping too much. They're going to die. Okay, er Keeper was already urgently assigned to there. Apparently pandas poop a lot, man. I was not aware. Diseased animal discovered. Oh, frick. Really? You guys got those salmonella? Frick, no. <laughs> My pandas are dying. Stop it, you're going extinct. You can't afford to die. You danged animals. Have babies. Frick. <laughs> Alright, let's just speed up time. Why not? We can afford to speed up time. Oh, my mechanic research is complete. Nice. Food shops, yay. Okay, how is the quarantine doing? The quarantine? How do I look at my quarantine? Oh, we can hold eight. Nice. No! Juan! Longway's wife is dying. Oh. That makes me sad. Not Juan. Oh, and there she goes. Curling up into a ball. Okay, maybe not. That was just a neat trick she wanted to show off before she died. Oh man. Call of it. Juan is dying. I need to remember that she was 12.4 years old and a female adult. How do I get her a thingy? Alright, here we go. She deserves brass, of course. I'm putting her right here. Okay. Oh, well, that doesn't help me. Um, 
How do we rewrite this again? <laughs> okay, here we go. In loving memory of Juan. Species. Pangolin. And she was a female. Adult, yes. No, elder. Okay, adult. Age, 12.4 years. Died on the 10th of May. Cause of death, she died of rolling around like a goof. That's how she died. <laughs> but honestly, it was old age. Long way, I'm so sorry. This has to be so hard on you, long way. You're still a young guy. This is so sad. Quarantine passed. Oh good, things are passing. Quarantine. <gasps> she died! Aww. And there she goes. Into a box. And then shipped off somewhere. <laughs> are people sad that they that she died? Did they even notice that she died? They give the plain zebras toys to- okay. I guess they don't notice. <gasps> There's a spider hat. Heck yeah. Nobody cares that my animal just died. You guys suck, you know. There's not much scenery here. There's rubbish all over the place. What are you, British? Who says rubbish, huh? <laughs> God, there is rubbish all over the ground. <laughs> Frick. You guys are animals. Nasty, nasty animals. I'm putting more trash cans all around. Quarantine past, quarantine past. Okay. Akia, Akika, Aika, Aika is diseased, but that's fine. I'm going to move the monkey, this monkey, just this one, into the monkey exhibit. Nice, nice. I'm going to move these two, because they passed, right? No, they did not pass. Okay. A oh, Ruby passed, though. Ruby passed. So she will move into the dingoes, which are right there. Hopefully Ben will like her. That's, that's it. That's everyone who's passed. Okay, long way, I will get you a new girl. Don't even worry about it. Do they bond for life? Is he not gonna accept a new girl? I'm pretty sure they don't. They probably don't bond for life. I don't think they do. Oh no, he's becoming elderly. He has no mate. Okay, I think it's fine. I think I think he can mate. He can get a new mate. I'm searching for a new pangolin, please. Why am I looking in here? <laughs> pangolin, please, please, give me a pangolin. <gasps> yes, there's Liang, Liang, Long, whatever her name is. She's perfect. She's perfect. I will send her straight into here without worry. <laughs> Without worry or care. Throwing all caution to the wind. Alright, let's see if Ruby makes a nice addition here. Okay, never mind. Guess we'll go look at Ikea first. Ika first. No, wait. She's, she's in quarantine. What are you talking about? She's in the vet. She's at the vet. Oh, Sumi is about to have a baby. I don't care about her. Oh, the tiger passed. That's great, but... I don't care. I didn't build the tiger exhibit just yet. I'm building the saltwater crocodiles first, so they need to pass as soon as possible. Alright, come on, where's my dingo? There's a guy fixing the fence. Okay, Joe Yo has passed the quarantine. That's great. I want to see my new dingo, man. I want my dingo stab babies. Chinese pangolin. And the saltwater crocodile has arrived. Okay, I guess she was sick. Or he. Which I think it was the girl. There she is! Ruby! Oh, doggy! She has arrived and she's doing great. Wonderful. Okay. This isn't bad. This isn't bad. How big can their social group get? Uh. They mate for life. Oh, they can have a bond. Benjamin, no more contraceptive, please. Benny boy? That's right, I'm taking you off the pills. <laughs> okay, now you. 
Ruby? Why am I hearing screaming? What the frick? That's terrifying. <laughs> Bonding status. Unable to have mates as a beta animal. So she might have to wait until the mother dies. Or the mother doesn't become an alpha anymore. She might have to fight for alpha status. No, actually... I was gonna say she just has to mate with Benjamin. But she can't mate. Because she's a beta. Okay, so I don't know how the freak this is gonna work, but eventually Benjamin's mother is going to pass away. Probably very soon, since she's getting up there in years, but uh, yeah, it'll be fine. Oh, we're good. We're good on the adult population. We could have bought the other two dingoes, probably. Anyway, um, yeah, let's move the crocodiles. Can now be moved into your new home. Your new home. Right over here. And we'll rename this habitat Crocs. Oh, my dingo had babies! Yes, yes, yes! This is what I've been worried. Wor this is what I've been waiting for. You had new puppies, Arya. I'm so proud of you, Arya. Look at you just sticking your leg up in the air like a regular dog. Okay, we got Ava. <gasps> Adorable. Oh my god, they're like real puppies. Oh, they're so cute. I mean, of course they're like real puppies. They are real puppies. What the frick am I even saying? Chloe. No, that's too weird because, you know, the other one, I'm pretty sure, couldn't I have bought a Chloe at some point? I don't know, but I need to change your name. You can't be Chloe. I'm sorry. You're gonna be, uh, Ar Aria. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure your mother's gonna pass soon, so, you know, you can, you can be named after her. And then Charlotte, she had three females. Oh. Well, Charlotte, as much as I like your name, I'm gonna have to change it, because I, I said I would name one after Seb, Sebastian. So I'm gonna name you Sebia. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. What fur colors do they have? What do they look like? What are my babies like? They need more space? I don't give a dang. Okay, what do you have? What do you need? Pack mates. Interesting. What does this bar mean? Does that is it like their relationship with that other person? That's interesting. Was this the Sims? What? <laughs> Let me look at your stuff. Well, everyone seems to get along with each other. That's good. If that's what that bar means, maybe that's their health bar. I don't freaking know. <laughs> anyway, what is your uh your stuff? What is your stuff? Mia, who the frick's Mia? You had a fourth kid? <gasps> There's Four of them? Hello, Mia! She had four babies! Oh! White orange, alright. Not bad, not bad, and your other stuff. White orange, interesting, interesting. White orange, you're all white orange. Alright. I think they all take after Sebastian then, except for Ava. Ava takes after her mother, Aria. Okay. You did good, Ava. Uh, you, I mean, Arya. You did good, Arya. You had a good litter here. I can't believe she had four puppies. Dang. That's a lot of puppies. Why are so many vending machines broken? I'm going to lose my god dang mind. Okay, alright. I'll, I'll get some more mechanics. Beatrice, entrance zone. Benny, entrance zone. You can... You know what? Benny still is fine. Beatrice, though, you're changing your name. You're gonna be Beat Rice. Where's that third one? Are you the third one? Leonard? Leonard? McCoy, of course. <laughs> Alright, all perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. There you go. Work on those vending machines, please. Okay. You. Where are my crocodiles? Have my crocodiles even entered the zoo yet? Have they even gotten to their freaking habitat yet? I don't think they have. Okay, I'm gonna have to speed up time then. I'm wasting a lot of time with the dingoes today and my other animals, but not anymore. Ah, there we go. They are merged into each other. Oh my god, that dude is huge compared to the female. Like, dude, the female looks like a child. What the frick? <laughs> what the frick? Okay. I know. I'll fix that in a minute. Calm the frick down. Why is your welfare... Oh, because 
That, that sucks. Okay, but let me look at your size real quick. Yeah, your size is good. You got a good size. You got a cruddy size. Mm, yeah, I could tell that by just looking at you. Okay, what do you guys want? Terrain-wise. Okay, you need water. That's, that's for starters. I can get you water. Give me a moment. Give me just a moment. A smidgen of a moment. First things first. I need to figure out where I'm going to place the water. I want to place it here, but guests are going to hate that, aren't they? I'm just going to place this over here. And nobody's going to see it. Alright, now we can put down the water. We just need to sculpt things. You know what would have been cool if I had made this area on like a platform and then you know we could have had like glass down here and the water here and you know people could see the crocodiles above on the top i don't know if i'm explaining that well but i could have done cooler things with this but i'm not going to because i'm too lazy and it's way too late for me to care maybe i'll do that in my spare time i don't know all right is this big enough for water <laughs> Uh, should I put rough water? Do you like that? Or do they like calm water? I don't freaking know. When I think of salt water, I think of rough water. Okay, well they boxed up my crocodiles, so I'm not sure if that was the correct thing to do. Okay, looks like it was. Never mind. Perfect. Perfect amount of land and perfect amount of water. They got plenty of freaking... What? Don't do that to me. <laughs> Plenty of freaking water. Perfect. Okay. They don't need any hard shelter. That's great. I love that about crocodiles. Deep water. 0% deep water. Interesting. Well, considering we don't really have a way for the guests to see them underwater, we don't really need deep water. I might change that in the future. <laughs> okay. Let's get some terrain painting in here. We need more short grass. They like short grass. And I'll give you a sad tree. There you go. All the plants you'll ever need because you guys hate plants. It says so right here. Hate, you hate plants. <laughs> enrichment. Of course that's what you need. You need enrichment. Ooh, a soccer ball. Heck yeah. Here you guys go, so you can play soccer. And I'll give you a snowball in the water, so you can play snowball in the water. <laughs> Alright, here's a large food tray. Not free. There you go. And some blood scent over here. And over here. And maybe over here. I don't know. A sprinkler next to the ball. Maybe over here too. Maybe even in the water. I don't freaking know. <laughs> you can have an underwater fish feeder box. I'm not even sure if that'll work if the water's deep enough. Why is your enrichment at zero? What the heck? Okay, and there we go. Okay, their enrichment's at 100. Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, they're doing great. Yes, now I'm going to fix the work zone. Thank you for reminding me. Panda and others? Yes. We're going to put this, this, all of this, this, these, all into work zone 3. Welcome the crocs to the zoo. They're still inside of each other and haven't really moved. There they go. Oh, they're moving in sync. That's kind of creepy, actually. Oh, that's that's really creepy. Okay, there we go. There we go. They've separated a little bit. <laughs> the bigger one's faster. He is a big boy, man. That's a big croc. This one, not so much. This dude is huge. Like that, that's creeping me out, even though it's a virtual animal. This one is going into the ground. <laughs> it's a sand croc. Oh, frick. <laughs> she can swim in sand. Okay, what? 
Okay. Uh, Ikea, or whatever her name is, is ready. It's definitely not her name. <laughs> Ika. Ika's ready. To leave the quarantine. So, let's move her. Into the giant Japanese macaque exhibit. And Bogod, Bogbadana, needs a exhibit. And I'm going to rename her when she gets into the exhibit because I'm, I'm not going to keep Bogod, Bogod, Badana. I'm going to do concrete. I'm going to do concrete for Badagadu because I think concrete is probably our best option here. Before I make my little tiger exhibit, maybe we should make it over here next to these trees. Nah, that'd be a bad placement. Okay. Alright, this will be where the tiger exhibit is. The train will go over it, and it's gonna be very scenic. I'm gonna make it very pretty. Very pretty. I was planning on just making this an empty scenic area, but oh well. Oh freaking well, I don't give a dang. <laughs> Alright, some of this needs to be replaced with one-way glass. So that people can see my tiger. This will probably do it. Perfect. And then a little bit over here will probably do it as well. And there is our little gate. It's a perfect little area, and I forgot to put donation bins next to the saltwater crocodiles and also all the education garbage. Frick. Also, trash cans would be nice too. Got them their stuff. They're now gonna be educated. We got our board. We got our speaker. We got a speaker on the pandas too, and I had to get a transformer. It was very annoying. Okay. Back to the tiger exhibit. Our new Siberian tiger exhibit. Why the heck is Eli's price going up and everyone else's price is going down? <laughs> I'll sell Eli. I'll do it. I'll do it, man. Think I need Eli? I don't need Eli. What do you mean no path to destination? There is a pretty clear path. What? What are you talking about? Okay, that was really weird, but whatever. Also, now there's a freaking path that goes to nowhere right there, but... Whatever, I don't care. <laughs> Got some mechanic research, great. Why are my mechanics not fixing anything? Fix stuff, you freaking idiots. Alright, back to the tiger exhibit. Let's wait for the tiger to arrive. Oh, another mechanic research is complete. We got food shops. Nice. Oh, here comes the tiger. Oh, frick, that's a big box. Wow. Beautiful. I love tigers. Okay, I'm gonna rename you now. To Rabina. You guys should have seen it coming. I mean, come on. It's a tiger. I have to name it Rabina. It's a female tiger. All right, um, let's fix your stuff up, Urbina. Let's make it look nice. Need hard shelter, need terrain, <gasps> water. Yes. You want water. I know you want water. I'll give you water. I don't even care that I didn't think about the fact that tigers like water until now. I don't care. I'm giving you water. You're getting water. I know tigers love water. <laughs> okay, I have no clue what is going on there, but whatever. I need to put water treatment in here. Okay, let's fix your terrain paint. You obviously hate long grass a lot, which is going to be a kind of a pain. But I will do it. I'm going to put your cave over here. So let's put some rock there. Is that even a good place to put a cave? Probably not. Actually, let's not put it over there. Let's put the cave over here. Okay, there we go. Perfect. It's finally perfect. <laughs> Alright, we need to get rid of all this. Bangle bamboo, yeah. You're not a bangle tiger, but I'll get you some bangle bamboo. Do you like that? Yeah, probably. Can't really see anything because it's kind of dark, but whatever. Enrichment. My favorite part. 
Oh wait, you know what? Before we get to enrichment, I forgot. We need to build the cave. Should I build the cave? I feel like I'm gonna do an ugly job, so I'm just gonna make... I'm just gonna buy a cave. Yeah, let's just do that. Arctic shelter. Because it's the most expensive thing that I can get you. And I feel like you deserve it. So there you go. Nice. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's all for you, Rubina. Okay, here's some blood. I know you like that. You like some blood. A little cardboard box over here for the people to watch. You like to climb? Okay. Here's a little climbing thingy. Another little climbing thingy. You can get up into the trees on that one. Sprinklers. I feel like I'm gonna have to change the temperature as well, because I don't I don't think you're gonna like this temperature. Let's get you some underwater feeder boxes. Oh, gift box enrichment. Some bedding for your bed, because I know you'll like that. I can't really see in there, but whatever. I'm assuming you, you're getting it. Here's a fire hose ball. Now what about your temperature? Where's your temperature? Because I know it can't be right. You like snow and stuff, so it can't be right. Temperature is good? Oh, okay. Maybe because it's October? Maybe because it's nighttime? I don't freaking know. It's 82 degrees. How is this okay for you? <laughs> well, whatever. I guess it's fine. Keeper cannot reach habitat. Oh no. I didn't put this habitat into the freaking work zone yet. Okay, shush. I get it. I get it, dude. I get it, guys. You can't reach the thing. I know. I'm gonna change it. Don't worry about it. Just like that. Easy as Sunday morning. There we go. That is probably gonna be the last exhibit I add to this work zone. I think the next time I make some work zone, the next time I build an exhibit, it'll be in a different work zone. Yeah. Alright, let's get you some more workers because, you know, this is a lot of exhibits, I realize, and obviously people are just not taking their jobs seriously anymore. <laughs> Vinny, I'm not gonna change your name. Kathleen, you're gonna be cat. Imogene, you're gonna be uh. Titania. James DeVos, you're gonna be James from Team Rocket. Javier, you're gonna be Ha. Huh. Keisha, you're gonna be Faye. Liz, you're gonna be. Liza and Rex is a cool name, so you're gonna you're gonna keep your name. <laughs> okay, and you're all gonna go into Panda and others. All right, there we go. Bunch of new workers for Work Zone Three, and they're all going into the tiger habitat. What the frick are they doing? What? They all just went in there. I don't know why. What is going on? What? I don't know what the frick's going on. I don't know what the frick's going on. <laughs> oh, she was about to have a baby. Heck yeah. Oh, this is very nice. Even for low res, this is nice. Look at that background there. The scenery is gorgeous. Anyway, have your baby. Have a baby. I can't wait to see the, the babies play. Because we got multiple babies. Are you just sitting in your water? This is kind of sad. <laughs> Maybe I should get them a uh, hot spring. <laughs> what? I got that research. Okay, cool. We gotta research the tigers. And, oh, what else did we get? We got Chinese pangolin stuff. Chinese pangolin stuff. Yay. Oh, they're playing with the balls. Oh, look, they're eating. Oh, it's so cute. And people are enjoying them. You guys are enjoying my monkeys? Of course you are. Look at you all enjoying the monkeys. So much room to walk around. This place rocks. Heck yeah, it does. 
Having a great time. Good. I'm glad you are. This is a wonderful exhibit, man. Took me a long time to fine-tune it. Alright, everything is going great. Oh, my flamingo's about to have babies. What the frick are they eating? That looks gross as frig. <laughs> have your babies. Have the flamingo babies. Come on, Mobina. Have the babies. Well, that's not a baby. Have the babies. Mubina, come on! Any second now. Oh, yes, that is a big baby. Jesus Christ, I did not realize how big they were. Frick, come on. No, your name needs to be, uh, Kabina, obviously. You only had one baby? I guess that's normal. <laughs> Many guests think tickets are underpriced. Yes! Yes, tickets are underpriced. Heck yeah, they are. Most appealing habitat species. Really? Already? She just joined. And the yellow wakanda, that's interesting as well. What the heck? Okay. Cool. Staff happiness is 93%. <gasps> Average animal welfare is 92%. That's amazing. I'm doing so well. I'm doing so well. Okay, yes. Let's raise this to uh, $34. Thank you. And we'll raise this to $25. Thank you. Okay. That should keep people happy, right? My flamingos are growing. Yay! Can we get more flamingos? I want tons of flamingos. I want like 500 of them, like I said earlier in the last recording session. I want 500 flamingos. Exactly, 500. Yes, males! Oh, the ladies are gonna be so happy. They're gonna be so happy. I'm sending them straight in, throwing all caution to the wind. Come here, Faze. You're coming in, too. There you go. Two more flamingos. And they're males, so people will get more bonds and junk. It's gonna be great. Is Kabina following his mother? Yes, he is! That's adorable! Kabina's following Mubina! Aww. Who did you bond with? I know we only have one male, but I forgot his name. Ikaikdas. Okay. That's great. Animal's currently bonded to Iklos. Oh, that's adorable. They got a little wedding ring thing. Oh. Don't worry. We'll we'll bring up that population. You guys will soon be very happy with the population. Nick is dying. I don't care. I don't care, Nick. <laughs> that research is complete. Yay! And for once, I don't have that many notifications and warnings and junk on my screen. That's wonderful. Did I unlock anything new for flamingos? I really doubt it. Also, I forgot to put, like, signs and junk for the Siberian tiger. But you know what? I guess I'll wait until some people actually come over here so I can see where they're gonna stand. C nobody's over here, even though this is the most appealing animal, apparently. Oh well. Whatever. I guess it is kind of a walk. No, Susan Ross is stressed. I don't care. <gasps> Conservation, heck yeah. Got a reward. Man, my zoo is looking pretty cool. A new animal has arrived in the zoo. Oh good, the males are coming in. I think this area is finally starting to clear out just a little bit. I mean, I'm not super sure about that, considering this area. Ugh, ugh. But I'm hoping it's starting to clear out just a smidgen. But come on, guys. There's a whole other area of the zoo to explore. Like, a whole giant area of the zoo. Come on. I've got new flamingos. The ladies are gonna get mates. Oh, you're injured. God dang it. Okay, fine. Call a vet. He needs to get quarantined. My mechanic research is complete. what I get? I got... Transport rides, finally. Yay! The inspector's here! Frick! She only gave my panda four stars. God dang it. And my dingo only four stars. Dang it. Where is my tiger? Can you find the tiger? Because I sure as frick can't. You know, despite making this in the dark, it's not too bad. Except for, you know, the sideways cattails. There's the tiger. There's the tiger. Look at her. Look at Rabina. She roared at me. I freaking love tigers, man. She's so happy. What the frick's going on? Why are you not happy? 
It, I knew, I knew you would hate the temperature. See? What temperature do you want? We'll never know. We'll never know. Okay. Guess I gotta look in the book. Is that it? I gotta look in the book at what you want? You want 25 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so that's why it was okay at night. It was because it was night. It was colder at night. Okay. 25 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. 25 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. 25 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's get you some snow. I know you'll like that. We'll get. We'll make it a little warmer over here where your home is, because I'm sure you'll you'd like that. And the when you're trying to sleep, you know, I'm sure you don't want it too cold over there. We'll make this area cold and this area very cold. We'll lower that to 25. The lowest it can go for you. 32 is fine. Let's raise that to 40. And then over here, you can be uh, higher. You can be 70. Pretty warm over there. There. That way you have a whole range of temperatures to choose from. Now let's see if we can get you some snow. <gasps> Look at you! You're swimming! You're swimming! I knew you'd like to swim! Oh, adorable! And can you get out? I hope to God you can get out. Freak, that'd be terrifying. That'd be horrible if she couldn't get out. Anyway, let's see if you can get some snow in this 20 degrees over here. Well, maybe as it gets cooler, you might get some snow. There we go! You got snow. I'm sure you'll love that. I got food shops. Alright, let me look at you. Beautiful. Everything's at a hundred. Except for nutrition. Well, guess what? Guess what? I love tigers. I love tigers so much, I'm gonna change your food quality. Excuse me, thank you. Suitable food. Okay, I don't- I don't think I can change it. Must be set on the habitat gate. See, that's what I thought, and I clicked on it. Okay, here we go. Yes, I'm going to- oh, I can't change it because I don't- I don't have enough of your, uh, research, I guess. Okay, that's fine. Why is available food so low? I don't- I don't know. Maybe because food's not in it right now? I don't know. Anyway. What? Animals stressed. Deal with it, Vanille. And I got vet research complete. Yay! I got Salmonellomonosis. Alright, Ryoma, go study the spring box. Why the freak not? Drink shops! Yay! Well, you know, the last thing I should do before I end off, considering I have so much goddamn cash, is I should um, get more tiny exhibits for this little ugly area. Yeah, let's do that. One there, and... Oh my god, I hate, I hate it when that happens. Ah, freak, I didn't mean to do that. No, I just wanted to delete this one little piece of junk. Fine, I'll delete the whole god dang thing. I'll just replace it, I guess. I don't freaking know. I don't know what the heck this is. It's very ugly. I don't really care. There. This is so bad. This is the worst. What even is this? What even is this? What even is this? Okay, that's really ugly, but whatever. <laughs> the game hates me, obviously. Okay, we got three, new two new exhibits. Only two? I thought we had three new ones. Okay, whatever. Can we get some new animals? Already have you, already have you, already have you. Ooh, a Brazilian wandering spider. Ooh, fancy. But we only got- ooh, no, we got a female. I'll take you, why not, why not? Okay, Brazilian wandering spiders. Common death adder. Do we have adders? I feel like we do. I don't remember. Only male skinks, so I won't get a skink. 
I'll take this random eastern brown snake, why not? Yeah, you are much better. And you're a little bit better. And we only had two, right? So I can't get the giant burrowing cockroaches, unfortunately. I'm gonna rename this Wander. Uh, your exhibit's not perfect. Why is that? It is perfect, what are you talking about? It's perfect. Now let's just put a thingy in front of you. There you go. I'm not even sure if people can get to you, but whatever. <laughs> Brown snake. Everything's good for you? Okay. That's interesting. Alright. Great, we got two new exhibits. Let's also put the educational stuff in front of them. Before I forget. Yeah, just put that on the trash can. Why not? I don't I don't give a dang. I'm not the trash can, the donation box. There, that's a uh, Brazilian wandering spider. Thank you. And this is a brown snake. There. Now let's go ahead and make more. Can I not add more garbage? I don't want any auto I don't want that and I don't want any Pathing to be made. I guess I can't I can't do anything about it. There's just gonna be paths, so I'm just gonna have to deal with it. Well that's freaking irritating. <laughs> Cause now I have to delete the path. Oh, that's so irritating. That's so irritating. It makes me wanna delete the game. <laughs> delete the entire game just because of that. I will take the cockroaches. Give me those cockroaches. Tyler. You don't have much longevity, Tyver Tyler. But neither does William. I'll take you, Tyler. Tyler, I'm taking you. And you shall mate with Rhea. And I'll also get a giant desert scorpion because that sounds dope as frit. And they're hairy? Oh, that's even better. Okay. Giant hairy scorpion. Yeah, that's, that's how you spell scorpion. And then, uh, you're the cockroaches. <laughs> uh, okay. Anyway. <laughs> I should also probably rename these things to, you know, mom and dad, like I've been doing. Before I forget who's who. Again. And sell the older ones by accident and then have the babies inbreed. Not that that matters, I don't think for these animals. Are you still alpha? Dang. She's hanging on to that alpha status, man. She's like the queen. Of Britain. <laughs> Mentari is the dad. Rara will be the mom. I don't know why this one had mom on it when I just bought it and it was obviously not a female. Whatever, I don't, I don't know what the frick's going on. It does that sometimes. I don't understand why. Okay, I'm gonna take you guys, move you into the giant hairy scorpion exhibit, and now I need the cockroaches, please. The giant burrowing cockroaches. Yes, those, please. Gimme. There we go. Alright, this is for the cockroaches, and this is for the... Whatever these things are. Giant hairy somethings. Giant hairy scorpions, yes. Okay. Your welfare is trash. So how can I help you? Okay, I can help you by raising the freaking temperature. And lowering the humidity. I know! I'm fixing it! Chill out. Alright, that's perfect. That's good. And now, you guys... I need to fix your stuff. Temperature's very finicky on these guys. A little bit higher. There we go, perfect. Keeper cannot reach exhibit. Keeper cannot reach exhibit. Keeper cannot reach exhibit. Okay, I'm about to freaking lose my goddamn mind. I think these were in work zone one. I don't remember. 
edit entrance zone, add these two, and these two. There, four new exhibit animals. Now there are a ton of exhibit animals. And uh, it seems like the shop is getting kind of busy, so let's just make another one of those right next to it. There you go. <laughs> yeah, people like that, right? Maybe? I don't freaking know. My mother monkey's about to have a baby! Okay, we'll end off with that then. Nari's about to have a baby right into the right in the food pile. That's wonderful. Is that a baby? That looks like a baby to me. Yeah, that's Sumi. Adorable! Alright, have a baby. Come on. Have a baby. Have a baby. There it is. It is a boy, Botan. Adorable. Vinyl's also about to have an offspring, but I don't really care too much about that. <laughs> Alright, anyway, with that, guys, I think that's gonna be it for this time. Hope you all enjoyed this episode of Planet Zoo. I'm gonna go to bed now. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully tomorrow's a better day. Hope you guys are doing well. Bye.